Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. And as you enter onto a new week, I just wanted to encourage you filming this Sunday afternoon. We have just completed four services. It's been so wonderful to be back in church. But man, I am tired now and I'm having a well-earned energy drink after completing four services in a row. But praise God, it was just so great to see the faces of God's people again and to be able to share together again. Now, I did want to mention today a figure that was absolutely unknown to most of us in Ireland until this whole crisis begun and has become a household figure, and that's the Chief Medical Officer, Tony Houlihan. Uh, up until now, he was a figure that most people hadn't heard of, or uh, maybe even had heard of in a bad sense. Uh, there were some questions asked about the role that he had played over the cervical cancer mismanagement and that scandal that we heard about all last year. However, we soon got used to Tony Houlihan stepping up to the plate. We saw him there day after day after day at these press conferences. And many times I looked at him and I thought, that man, this must be a heavy load to carry, making decisions that will affect people's lives, advising government. And he always exuded an air of calm and confidence that really, I think, has been instrumental in helping our nation come through this so well with the fact that now, in terms of reproduction rates and such like, uh, we've, we're in a better place than almost any other country in Europe. And when you look at where we were at the beginning, I bless God for that. But now it was just announced there uh, that uh, on Thursday that Tony Houlihan is uh, stepping down, uh, drawing back from his role. And the reason is because his wife is terminally ill with cancer and has now entered palliative care. And I want to tell you, when I heard about that, I felt a compassion for that man, but I also felt a deeper respect because sometimes we see people in roles, in leadership roles, and we see what they're doing and we judge them either of having done well or having done badly. Sometimes we don't stop to think about the very human things that are going on in the background. That all the while that this man has been carrying a heavy load in his position, he was caring for a terminally ill wife and he now wants to step back as she goes into palliative care to basically spend her final days quality time with her and i'm reminded of what the bible says this that greater love has no man that he lay down his life for his friends now that's talking of obviously in context that's talking about jesus giving his life on the cross but sometimes we spend our lives for other people not by dying but by living for them and by serving them day in and day out. I don't know where Tony Houlihan stands spiritually, but I am grateful for his service and what he's done for the people of this country, myself included. And I think all of us can look at our lives. Sometimes we look at the stuff that's going on in our lives and we say, well, this is an excuse for why I can't really bless somebody else. But can I tell you something? I've discovered that in some of the hardest moments in my life, when I determined to serve God's people, God came through with the greatest blessings then. And I'm so grateful to God, not just for people like Tony Houlihan. I'm grateful to leaders in the church. I'm grateful for the leadership team I serve with here at Solid Rock, at people who give their time, their effort, their finances, give everything to serve God's people. And I'm so grateful for them and the blessing that they are. I just want to say to you this week, you know, this week, expect God to bless you. Expect God to move in your life. But also look for somebody that you can bless, for somebody that maybe you can do something sacrificial for, some, maybe to give sacrificially to somebody, to give time sacrificially to help somebody, to pay attention to somebody you normally wouldn't be, feel like giving time to. You know, I think the more we can serve one another, the more the greatness of God is displayed in his church and the greater things that we see happening around us. Look. God bless you as you serve him, and uh, join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.